let's see how you are going to do same thing in the handler right how you are going to do same thing whatever we have we, we try to achieve same thing how we are going to achieve using the handler let's see so handlers are that thing which are going to communicate with your UI thread and your worker thread now what I'm going to do is that see here for int or I'm going to create new thread over here new thread right into the new thread I'm going to make new runnable over here runnable right and instead of that you can use the lambda expressions which are coming in the Java 8 lambda say dot start like this right? it should be attached dot start like this so here I can do for int i is equals to 0 i is less than 100 and i plus plus like this and i plus plus like this so we are going to do this thing i is equals to 0 i is less than 100 and i plus plus now here I can apply thread dot slip for time being you can say 0.1 second right you can say this is nothing but what for the 0.1 second and now I want to what you can say now I want to update my UI so I'm telling you how this internally works you don't need this thing actually how this internally work absolutely you don't need but I'm telling you as an extra knowledge how it works okay now here I'm going to call some handler right I'm going to call this handler over here and this handler will help me right this handler will help me to update my UI in the for loop I have written the handler which will help me to update the UI are you getting this thing okay now see instead of this as well I can write one lambda over here in line expression right instead of this as well I can write the lambda see here you can write find view by ID r dot ID right r dot ID dot what you can say text info right you can convert it to the text view right you can convert it to text view I'm writing inline or if you hate inlines just go with one method you can provide some method reference over here dot set text you can say string dot value of I right string dot value of I what's happening this okay now it, it, it is giving us error for this I right it is giving me error for this I it is saying that please make I as a final over here it is saying that please make this I as final so I can make it at int I is equals to 0 likewise and instead of this I can straight away use this I right so I have enlarged the scope of the I right still it is saying that make it more global fine so I had make made that to the class level this is a core Java remember that if you are going to use local variable inside the class inside the class inside the class it says that please go on increasing the scope to the global level right you need to make it to the global to the global to the global so most global can be used inside most local likewise so here we have used what handler for the UI communication so see what is the handler now you would be getting to know actual definition of the handler handler allows you to send and process right a handler allows you to send and process message and runnable objects associated with the UI threads message queue each handler instance is associated with single thread and that threads message queue each handler 
is associated with the single thread and that threads what you can say message queue when you create a new handler handler it is bound to the thread or the message queue of the thread that is creating it means whenever you create handler in this manner it is nothing but the one thread similarly here this line is publishing the results what i am saying this line is publishing the results this line is publishing the result on the main thread what we are saying this line is publishing the results on the main thread right and here you have said please publish this results on the main thread looper dot get main looper so here you said that hey handler i know you have one thread you are going to do this thing in a thread and you are going to publish the results on the main thread here i am saying telling you internals of the async task that you absolutely don't need any time here you are saying hey looper or hey handler i know you have one thread and that thread is nothing but the main thread you are going to post your all of the results on the main thread and that you are writing over here now let me run the code so instead of this async task calling getting called over here right you can call what you can say how main thread or how handler works let me run the code and see what happens how handler works see now same thing with the handler right same thing with the handler see internals of the async task what i'm telling you internals of the async task in this fashion your async task works internally see here you created one handler right here you are creating handler per iteration and that handler is posting the data right that handler is posting the data what i'm saying this handler is posting the data to main looper see what is this returns the applications main looper which lives in the main thread of the application main thread is nothing but your ui thread right main thread is nothing but what your ui thread this is how async task works internally means if you think that no i i'm not going to work with the async task i don't want to work the async task if you say that tomorrow no i'm not going to work with the async task i'm going to write my some custom logic then you might need the handlers remember that and these are nothing but the handlers that you would be using so new handler looper dot get main looper here you are saying that i want to post what i'm saying i want to post the results on the main thread here and inside the post what you have written simple your business logic you have written over here simple business logic you have written over here that is updating one text view right so this is something about handler see i am telling you how to do one thing in a three ways you can do that thing with the async task you can do that thing with the handler or you can do same thing or you can do same thing with what rx java in the next tutorial i am going to come with the rx java see here you haven't written the async task absolutely right you don't need to write the async task for that i just have written the handler handler is posting some data on the text view and that text view is getting updated same okay now in the next tutorial we'll see how rx java observables work see private void how rx java works how rx java will help me for the same my problem my problem is this i want to go on increasing the counter 
right? How RX Java is going to help me? We'll see this thing in the next tutorial. Well, if you like our videos, right? If you like our videos, kindly subscribe us on the Code Cool channel of the YouTube.